all right YouTube in this video I'm going to show you how to create shopping cart website using PHP MySQL and jQuery fine if you see we have some list of products on the left side so if I click on the add to cart button that data is available on the checkout section so the green color t-shirt price is 500 and the quantity is one so if I add the quantity to two you will see the quantity and the price will change automatically add to cart now it's three it is calculating the price accordingly and displaying the total as well now let me add one more thing gray and blue so I want the blue color to be to have more quantity so let me add one more quantity which is two and add to cart now if you see the quantity is also updated the price is also updated accordingly your total amount is also getting added fine if I close this and add open it again it is going to save it is going to s remain the same way because I have used the session because in the session we have stored the array of products so let me show you again I'm going to close this or close the whole browser after close I don't think after closing the whole browser it won't start because it's in the session so it is not there so add two three four so if I close this tab this only works I'm sorry for that this only really works on the closing of tabs not on the whole window you should not close the whole window or else it won't work so I have added four products I'm closing it so there is no tab which I have closed now if I open it that product is going to remain the same so this is the video which we are going to see uh, so this is the tutorial which we are going to see you will get the source code in the description to follow along so get into it you ca uh, I missed one thing isn't it so we have we can delete this as well if we delete it the quantity and uh, the price will be detected accordingly so if I remove the 400 so it should be 1200 so if I remove 300 it should be uh, 900 so these datas are coming from the database so if I sh I can show you the database as well let me pop so if you see we have a database called shopping and inside that we have a table called products so these are the data which I have fetched from the these are the data which I have fetched from this page and uh, get into it let's start let me meet in, let me meet you in another another section we have divided this tutorial into three sections so let's start all right YouTube in this video I'm going to show you how to create database for this shopping cart website and the second thing is how to fetch data from database and display so these are the data which is coming from database so along with that when I click on the add to cart button the name the price and the quantity will be displayed on the console so these are the three sections which we are going to see in this video uh, in this section uh, which is section one fine and yes I have added display the add to cart value on console so if I refresh and show you again click here click here and change the quantity and click here quantity 4 is also updated fine let me show you the database or let me create a database with you uh, so here we have new and we need, then we need to create the database name and then the table name we need four columns so four is already there so now ID name image price the first one is int the second one is var care which is data type and the one once we choose where care it will prompt you to ask for the length so it is mandatory so I'm giving 200 and uh, the first one is the ID I will make it as primary key you'll see this is primary and it is auto incremented that means I don't have to insert the ID every time 
it will be auto incremented click on save and uh, then what we need to do is uh, if you click on browse ID name image and price is there so if you click on insert you need to insert some value so before that let me create a folder called shop and dot that shop will have another folder called images and let me paste some duplicate images so these are the duplicate images I'm pasting it on my current folder our current project is called shop don't forget that and then I'm going to insert it the first one is a red color uh, let's go with the flow uh, shop images the first one is mix color I will just insert once uh, only one value and the rest you can do it I'll pause it and uh, I'll make you do it fine the second one is image name uh, the image name is let me give the default name as one dot jpg it is not the default name it is the name which I have already given to the file which is one dot jpg the price is 200 and then the same thing you need to give the name for this t-shirt and then you have to give the image name which is 2 dot jpg and the third one is price you can give on your own and don't forget it is not jpg it is jpeg so if you see i leave the source code in the description don't worry about that jpeg is a format so if you click on go one data will be inserted you can see one id mix color jpg and price and uh, this is just for you to show but actually i'm going to use for this tutorial or let me pause it and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert it manually one by one so that we the video won't get much long fine i'm pausing it fine i have inserted seven values now let me open that project in our visual studio code which is on the HD docs we have shop and now we need to create another file which is index.php which will fetch all the values and display it over here control n control s index.php I'm pasting a bootstrap template which will have CDN for jQuery when bootstrap so let's open this is the demo and project name shop whatever is there inside HD docs you can access it with the local host slash shop at present it is blank you can see I have modified the title and it is showing up now we need container we need a row and inside the row the column will be displayed so before that we need the database connection so why do we need database connection we need database connection to fetch data from the database so fine here we have made the database connection the server is localhost the username is root for which is default for XAMPP and the password is blank which is de again default for blank sorry which is default for XAMPP and the database name which we have created it is shopping cart no just the shopping I guess let me see the database name so shopping is the database name I think it is not properly created uh, we have a database called shopping cart let me paste it here and fine uh, th the database is created and the connection is also created so let me close this connection at the bottom of our uh, index.php file uh, or it or it is not mandatory we it will close PHP will close on its own so for a bit best practice we'll do it so now we need to write a query so here this is a place where we would be writing the query to fetch data from the database so now if you see we have used select star from products I have written I have stored this into a variable called SQL and I'm passing it into a function called my SQL query and it is going to return 
uh, all the values in the form of variable or you can say array which is a result and uh, I'm going to access each of the individually each of them individually using dollar underscore row and it's an array it's an associated array we need to pass the column name we have column name ID or uh, it's a PHP concatenation and a name only once we need to have we need to write so let's see ID and uh, name should be there so this is our project let me add BR concatenation so ID and name is showing up fine now what we need to do is likewise we can have mm, uh, what are the things we have inserted it on database we have image and we have price so if you see there is an error let's see tooth broads concatenation again fine now if you see now inside the row we need to create a column which is MD of 3 so reason for MD3 is we need four images four six four uh, columns fine now we have image we have name and we have H6 uh, in the form of price images uh, let's copy this so we need to paste this inside here close the PHP let me format it so inside we need to pass this one PHP echo the same way name price copy the name copy the price and let's see how does it looks we need to we comment it we'll comment it the image is not showing up because the path is wrong images slash then the name comes mm, let me give the style to the images if you see I have given the height 100 percent sorry with 100 percent and a height 100 pixel and the object fit contain if it is if you don't write object fit, object fit contain this is how it looks so to maintain the aspect ratio object fit contain I have used and now we need a add to cart button button add to cart and you can have the class any name uh, I'm going to use the bootstrap class a red one and uh, on the parent text center so it appears center of the column and then we need a margin top three. or let's make it five fine so just to make it price let me show you the console on the side fine as you can see we have fetched the data from the database now it's time to display the add to cart value on console so to do that we are going to have script at the bottom of the file on document ready uh, I want to choose a button and I had to have a click function so once I click it I want the value which is data hyphen ID equal to any ID 
just for my understanding so on the button to choose the button we will use this on button we have a data attribute and I need the data attributes ID data hyphen ID and I'm to store into into a variable called ID and I want to paste it on the console so if I push and click you'll see any ID shows up so in place of any ID what I need is I want to display the value from database PHP so each of them will have the ID unique ID so this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so if you remember we have used auto increment to the column ID on the database this is what it is so once we do that do this so what we need to do is I want to access the heading the price and one more thing I forgot to add the quantity let's add the quantity over here just below the price let's add remove the ID we don't need it we'll need it but we'll use it afterwards so now if we refresh and see the ID is also available so if you see we can get the button and we need to get the heading price and the quantity so for that what we'll do is just like I have used data ID I'm going to use ID uh, instead of ID we have another option which is just make sure where the column closes just closing here so we'll place our button inside the column and uh, just before the column ends or just above the button we'll write input type hidden and we'll have ID and we'll have value and uh, this value what this value will have this value will simply have the name let me copy paste it two more times the first one is bin we will have the name and we will have the price and just to identify it let me give the name and price so if I refresh it and show you on the console element so the input it field let's see what we have for that you see mixed color mixed color price 400 price 400 and now if you see the ID is name here and the price is name here Set it to this one so again there are heading and the price if you notice the name and price is changing but the ID is same so for that what we'll do is we'll pass one more thing which is the ID so that to make it unique if you see price 2 name 2 and name price 2 so if I go here it would be name 3 and price 3 so right now so with that with this we can access name price so we know how we are going to access it dollar and we have hash name and we have used the ID which we have which we got it from the button and it is price now let's check this one is ID we don't need ID uh, let me name and price now if I click if there is no error it should say green color now red mixed and 400 and now dark uh, based on the click it is showing up now uh, one more thing is we need quantity so the same way 
what we'll do is to access we'll have ID and we'll pass the ID over here so what we will do we will give a name called quantity and then the ID so now we can access it quantity so let's try to display the quantity value quantity 4 click quantity 4 price and green color fine it is working let's get into the next section all right you this is the second section as you see we are going to use ajax once i click on the add to cart button the data will be sent to the ajax and uh, the file the file is in and uh, the data will be sent to another file that's what i meant to say fine now after sending it to the ajax we would be performing some condition and calculation what do i mean by that so this is a project which we are going to work on previously this is a demo which i have created it so the session is already created uh, what i'm going to do is wo whenever i click here the data is getting added right this added data i'm going to store it into a session so let me clear the session first so that i can show you get into the application and uh, we need you see clear storage then click on clear storage clear site data when if you refresh it is going to start from scratch now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this product to the cart and it is added the price is 400 and the quantity is one so if i click again so this is another this is a condition so if i click again what it should do it should not populate another column or oh sorry it should not populate another row instead what it should do is it should increase the quantity and it should perform calculation accordingly so if i click again the quantity is one at present the quantity is two and you see the price is now double let me add one more time let me add another product so this time i need two uh, two pro two products and uh, the price is 300 let's see product is 2 and the price is 300 now it has been calculated the php calculated it and it had it is displayed 600 the same way if you click again it is going to add i have the selected is one it is going to add one more thing now it is going to be three four five six and so on this price is also getting updated the total price is also getting updated the same way you can add as you wish data uh, you can add as much product to the cart and if you wish to change the quantity you can do it accordingly the price will be changed and the total amount will be changed so this even if you close it and start it again it is going to stay I think I have cleared it that's the reason why it has gone no you see it has no, it did not go instead I need to start it on page row so if I add one you see the same data is coming again so I need to call it on page load as well so we'll do it but at present we just understand this is what we are going to do in this section fine now let's get into our project this is our one let me open it in my visual studio code open folder inside HD docs shop select folder fine now if you see we have full width product page we don't want that what we need to do is we need to split it class row will have two column column md7 and uh, to have a space i would be i would be using one another one column in between and then four so the whole row will come on the first column that's a div this is what happens when you m mistakenly did not take care of the div now let's take this row you see this is for this one 
so actually the row ends over here I guess format HTML this is an extension and again it could not help I need to search one by one so this should be it paste it on call MD7 fine now over here I'm going to create a div with ID display checkout fine if you wish you can add a h3 with class text center and it should say checkout we don't need this and we should see checkout it's not showing because we have written it inside the inside as an attribute fine now the trick parts starts so I ha in the previous section I have shown you the data in the console now what we are going to do is we, we are going to send these data dollar dot ajax url the data in where we are going to send then method then data type here is this is going to be json then the data which is in the object form the url let's say cart dot php i will be creating it the method is going to be post so these things should be string so i would be passing some key value pair the first one is id the second one is name third one is price the fourth one is quantity fine now if you see to identify it uh, we are going to send it to the cart so what uh, what i'm going to do is c a r cart underscore id so cart is going to be the prefix once this thing is done uh, again I need to pass another thing which is action and it is going to be add fine these data will be sent to cart.php let me create that file cart.php and uh, this card.php will return a func uh, anything a data let's say hello so that data we can access it over here success it's a function so the data in the parameter is actually the data which is coming from card.php again I'm repeating the data in the parameter is simply the data which is returned by this card.php fine if I refresh if I click on add to card button the hello should pop up it says undefined but actually it is hello so actually the thing is I should not have written it inside the data actually it is it will come outside after data now if I see hello should come up fine I have simply added another function fail which will return if there is any error now if I try the hello should show up fine it is working now in place of hello what if I need the set data sent to retrieve the sent data dollar underscore post and uh, the data is cart id so if i try to echo it i can receive instead of id i'll take the name and show so if i refresh i'm clicking on green color green color should pop up now it's red color
now it's dark color and now it's mix color fine this is working now what we are going to do is we are going to create a session S to create a session session underscore start and uh, here also session underscore start so I'm going to check the action uh, we are going to check whether the data is sent or not to check whether the data is sent or not what we will be doing is copy it if is set I will see cart underscore id if it is set and then we should get fine it is working now if again the same function again we are going to check whether the now this time it's not is set now this time it is going to be cart action if it is add then display it is going to it is going to be showing the name as we know because the action is add if it is not add if you see it is not going to show because we have I have changed it to ads now if I make it add and now though it is add so it will show so these are the condition which I am doing it which is mandatory as well oh shit let me close it and re reopen again fine now uh, what we are going to do is I am going to create check, check the session is exist or not if is set dollar underscore session which is cart if it is set we know it is not set if it is not set I'm going to create an array item array and this array is going to hold the data which is sent over here so I'll store it in the key value pair which is p underscore p underscore id the same way do it for everything everyone now we don't need the action name price quantity copy it and paste it inside the array and now we cannot access it we cannot access this light way like this we need to access it this by this way dollar underscore post fine now once the once it is once the array is created I'm going to push the array into the session So, once I click over here, session is going to I, the I, the data which you have clicked that is name, price, and quantity is going to be inside array, and that array is going to be stored inside the session. So now the session is set. So this on second click, the session is set. You have to assume it, right? On session, on second click, the session is set. So now here we are going to apply the logic that means we can we should not able to add the duplicate values so for that for each use the session and access it one by one
and we are going to check if the session key get the id is equal to the data which is coming from index.php if both of them matches then it is duplicate so for that is already exist I will create it over here equal to 0 and if it is already exist then make it 1 and then we have to what we need to do is we do let me show it once I add it you will see a green color green color there is green green is over here e on every click it need to add the quantity so for that the same in the session we in the session array we have quantity and that quantity we are going to add it with the new quantity so already there is a session so if I add it it is going to add the session already holds the quantity and now it is uh, um, uh, each click it is going to add the quantity that's what I meant now get in get outside of for loop now if there is no duplicate that means if there is no duplicate what should be there this should be less than 1 because if there is duplicate it should be 1 if there is no duplicate it should be less than 1 that means it is 0 if it is less than 1 what we need to do is we need to again populate this uh, session array fine I hope uh, we missed the semicolon here fine everything seems to be working fine now after the session of inside this add we are going to see if the session is not empty dollar underscore and it is going to be cart if it is not empty then create output table so we'll define it on the top output table dot equal to we need a table I'll pause no, I'll not pause you won't we need table head inside table head we need table row inside table row we need table data how many table data that means table data is equal to how many column 1 2 3 4 4 columns So the first one is name, the second one is price, the third one is quantity, the fourth one is total, the sixth fifth one is total is not it is actually actually. Fine. Now if the session is not empty then it is created after that whatever is there in the array whatever is there in the array we need to fetch it and uh, display it in the form of table so for that for each to access array as dollar key dollar 
value fine now output table row table row close table data which is first column and it should be the PHP double quotes dollar value and the ID and the name is here in the form of key the same way quantity and the second is price second is price the third one is quantity so the price should be calculation of multiplication of quantity and price fine uh, let me see whether I have used semicolon no now close the table and then if you want you can add uh, another variable to display total 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 plus which is the multiplication of these two again and uh, after the table close I need another div class text center and it should hold the total value and uh, let me type total and uh, have it inside bold tag now we have uh, we have output table so we need to send it to the index.php to send uh, the data what we do what we would be doing is json underscore encode because we are passing the array now we are going to access this over the data here so already we have a div which I have given the ID check out dot HTML and we will be passing the data this out output HTML can be accessed over here now if there is no error then it should work there is an error undefined variable total we have to define the variable total on the top just like we did for the output table now if I add a class bootstrap class which is class table table border so let me clear the get into the application clear the storage clear site storage if I refresh it I'm going to add a mix color again mix color if I add mix color what should happen the quantity should be 2 and price should be double yes it is working again so I'm going to add dark color 1 it's going to change it to 2 so it should be 3 
and then it should be uh, 900 add yes it is working likewise I can add as much I want so one thing is missing is the delete button we have added action here the same way one more TD and have a class btn btn danger delete and you can see it's it is it is showing up along with the total so let me add 400 and let's see whether it is 600 6000 or not yes it is 6000 that means total is also working let's meet in this next section thank you third section what we're going to see is on page load i want the session to be displayed so if i refresh the data is not displayed so if i click on add the session completely shows up on refresh it goes on ref on adding one more product the whole product shows up that is not the case i need so if i refresh this is the demo one so if i refresh you can see it is going to stay even after refresh if i remove it if i refresh and the next requirement is remove the added product just let me add a gray t-shirt dark blue and uh, again blue color I'm removing the 600 so this would be detected I'm removing the dark blue I'm removing the 800 so you can see accordingly it is getting uh, detected so even uh, even after I refresh even it is going to stay that's what we are going to do in this section this is the final section and uh, don't worry fine let's get into it now let me open our project open folder it's in the htdocs shop it's opening So let us work on the first thing. On page refresh, it should stay. Let me open the console. If there is any error, let ca we can catch it. So, so this is the div where the data is getting dynamically displayed. So just like we did over here, if the session is set, the same way, copy it and paste it but it, but it's into it should be inside php tag and uh, don't forget to print the output here we don't need json encode directly so if i refresh it is going to stay but it says there are some variable missing output table is missing so we have to get it and initialize it so if I refresh even after page refresh it is going to stay so let me add uh, some more products and now I want to remove it so this is not working so if you see on the delete button so this is the delete button I am going to add a id and this ID will have the uh, P ID, and then it will it should it will have a class called delete. So let me copy it and paste it for this PHP file as well. Fine now when I click on the ID when I click on the delete button I want this ID so how we can get it in the JavaScript when page loads document dot get elements or you can collect query select all ct query selector all and it is the class delete 
all delete button so we can access one by one using for each oh, we can access one by one button so after accessing one by one I want to add an event listener and that event listeners click and after that I want to run a function and that function is delete in session so this is a function let me create that function once we create that function what we need is we want the ID removable ID equal to this dot id this is refer to the button which i have clicked so if i see console dot log removable id it should display the id you can see three the problem with this alert is we want we have use a click event on the button so we don't want that so get into the add to cart button and add a class called add and give that click event to that add class refresh now the alert won't show up simply you are getting the id so once we get the id the same way we are going to pass this id to the file cart.php just like we did for this function and uh, the data is simply the removable id id to remove and the action is remove and rest is going to same so now we just have to add a block of if statement so make sure this thing is outside outside of what outside of the add function so this is for add function and this is for the id set so now we are going to check whether the action here is remove if it is remove not remove it is this one id to remove if it is oh i'm sorry this is this action and this is remove okay if the action is remove i want to run a for each on the session so session dot for each so this is not how we write for each as dollar key dollar value so now we are going to compare if the value which has id so if you go a little bit up you will see this id if this id is equal to our id which we are passing in the post and I have given it a unique name you know which is this one if both of the matches then what we need to do is if both of the matches then we need to remove the session so unset is a function unset session and then you have to pass the key so that session will be removed now once it is removed then it is ok then it will run this appended part and it will display the appended table so let's check remove it on line number 254 let me see what it is actually let's we need to add the comma and one more thing the thing is 
after appending i want to have the event listener append uh, i want to append the event listener again so that's why i'm copying it and placing it refresh console no error delete it delete delete not working let me see why so in case if that doesn't work what we need to do is we need to i have this fail function so it will show you where we actually made mistake parse error unexpected on line number 55 g 55 so there's a missing semicolon let's refresh delete it undefined output table on line number 62 control g 62 so we have separated uh, these two variables on for add so again add here refresh it delete okay it has crashed i think i have to pause and restart it there are, there are some errors there are some issues so let me check we have used this function the problem is this function is again calling this id that would be the problem let me see if that doesn't work let's let's check uh, yeah it is working now we can see the data is getting detected refresh it add 800 now if i add 400 cost product it should add 3400 Yes, if I remove the four again, if I modify it to two, four hundred plus four hundred. Now it is. It should be four thousand two hundred. So if I refresh, let me see what is the. It is working on page refresh, but we need to add after appending as well. So the event listener which I have made, I want this function. on add function as well so now let's check add it delete add add again add again add again delete delete add delete so it is working as we need so that's all for this video we have completed the whole session the item total is also getting modified and we can add the quantity you can change the quantity as well it's 6 fine get the source code that's all for this video